Okay, so we've got all our counter bores cut. You can see these are ready for the seat inserts to go in. However, there's one other issue that we have to deal with, and that is um, we talked about match porting and a smooth transition for the airflow. Very often when you cut these cylinder heads out for seats, if you lay your seat on here, what you'll find out is that the inside diameter of the seat is much narrower than the actual casting flange or lip of the cylinder head. If we were to just put that seat in and run it like that, uh, we would have a, a pretty serious mismatch there. You can see it. So there would be a disruption in the flow. So what, we have another tool that we remedy that with and that tool is called a bull hog or a throat cutter. Different manufacturers have different angles on the actual throat and the throat is the area just before the valve, this area right in here and it's, it is actually at an angle. So we want to duplicate the angle of that throat. So again we pilot our guide this is not just a piece of steel in here, this is a precision pilot. It's actually precision me machined and it's, it's got a step on it and it's designed to go in about three quarters of the way and then get tight right here because it's tapered and it gets bigger as you go up and uh, you put that in and it, it's a very tight fit and it precisely pilots and centers that guide perfectly to our seat circumference here. So then we take our ball hog, of course, and we just lay our cutter down there. What that's going to do, the angles on that cutter are actually going to cut the center of that throat out. And what that's going to do for us is it is going to give us a, obviously, a much better uh, transition for that air. So it's important that there is no mismatches here. Anytime you have a mismatch, uh, you're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble. So we're going to go ahead and pilot our tool down here. We're moving the air table as needed. Okay. Pilot that baby down on. We catch our tool with the lip of our driver. And once we get that set where it needs to be, then we're going to go ahead and cut this. We're going to cut that, okay? So we'll turn on our machine, slow speed, and we're just going to cut the center of that guide hole out so that we don't have any kind of a mismatch, any kind of disruption in airflow. Now, on a stock set of cylinder heads, the average everyday machine shop might just let that go, but the high performance machinist in me just I, I, I just can't let it go. <laughs> I have to I, I have to cut these. Even though this is a basically stock engine, I'm still going to cut the center of that out so there's no mismatches. Okay. And once you get it set set out, cut out, and you can see if we put our seat in there, we don't have any type of disruption in flow. You look down and we don't have a step or a lip or anything. And then you have a very good flow on that cylinder head. That's the way it needs to be done.